here in Germany, people are taking to the streets once again to denounce far-right extremism. Around 150,000 people are rallying in the capital, Berlin. For weeks, Germans have been demonstrating against racism and xenophobia. It follows revelations that members from the far-right Alternative for Germany party attended a secretive meeting to discuss the mass deportation of foreigners and some German citizens. DW political correspondent Alex Gers is at today's demonstration here in Berlin. He told me more about the protesters' motivation. Yeah, people here, they are really determined to send a clear signal against far-right extremism and also against the far-right AFD party. Um, around 120,000 people have gathered here. Uh, this is uh, the latest police numbers that we're having. The organizers even say that up to 300,000 people are here, but we could not yet verify these numbers. And they, are, they really want to raise their voices against what many of them consider a threat to democracy. Um, we talked to some of, of the participants here at this demonstration. Uh, let's have a listen what they had to say why they are here today. We are against the AFD and for democracy. We can see in Poland or Hungary how quickly democracy is being dismantled, unconstitutional bodies restricted. I think that could happen to us too. The AFD is already very open about exclusion. I think it is good that people here are showing that they are against exclusion. A demonstration like this is wonderful and absolutely necessary, but it is also important that we keep this awareness alive at all times. That will certainly help in the long run. We simply have to stand up for the fact that we want democracy and its implementation. We also want it in the EU and not just for us alone. So, uh, yeah, we really can hear that there's, um, that there's uh, lots of concern uh, for the, the people that uh, they have shared lots of concerns with us. And all this comes, of course, under the impression or under the fact that the far-right AFD party is at the moment the second most popular party in the country. And looking at uh, some state elections later this year, they could even win elections in some parts of Germany. Um, and, um, but the, the success or the popularity of the AFD is not the primarily reason why lots of people are out here. Um, Lots of people, they have come here because a couple of months back, uh, far-right extremists and AFD politicians, they have met to discuss deportation plans, deportation of asylum seekers, of migrants, and also of German citizens with a migration background. And mm. this is what sparked the latest waves of protests here. Alex, as you know, there have been mass demonstration against the far-right in Germany for several weeks now. Is that disaffection, uh, or disaffection, I should say, showing up in the polls? Well, it is very early to say or to predict this, um, but there is some indication that the popularity of the AFD um, is declining at least a little bit. This is what uh, some polls are saying or have been saying over the last weeks. Um, but we really need to, to wait a bit longer to see more polls to make a clear assessment on this. Uh, but what really has gained momentum over the last weeks and also sparked or, or um, influenced by this demonstration is the discussion, the debate over a possible ban of the AFD party. Uh, yeah. This is a topic that um, is in, in a very controversial debate at the moment, uh, but it would take years. So this is no short term strategy to mm. counter the far right AFD party. DW correspondent Alex Gers. Many thanks, Alex. Thank you.